This week, near and dear to my heart, I will talk about Life and Death, a comic th about life and death and the philosophical meaning behind it. Uh, no, not really. It's about a guy named Steve. Life and Death is created by Jonathan Oliver, a UK fellow, and has been making the comic for over 15 years, starting in 2000. Life and Death was originally hosted on Drunk Duck before it moved on to Smack Jeeves and Drunk Duck again, and has been pretty stable ever since. Life and Death it remains one of the top comics on, those, on the website. The comic focuses around the personification of life and death, where at the very beginning of the comic, a new Green Raper needs to be found, and Steve, a guy who is aptly just for the job, is ready to qualify is already qualified by murdering the guy ahead of him. And he meets his childhood friend Bobby. And is really their parents have very forward thinking naming styles. <laughs> Through the comic, Steve learns how to handle his job as a Grim Reaper, escorting the newly dead into the realm of the dead. And Bobby occasionally shows how his his job works as he does whatever life does. Let's cut the trimming and get to down to why I would recommend this comic. I preface this with this is a comic for those who want to get into the nitty gritty because. I am probably one of the dozens of people who read this regularly. The strip has a very long archive and there's a lot to get into it because it has the has made the time to go through all these fine details. Very often Steve encourages the use of puns and other gags in his comic to make fun of death and his job. <laughs> Despite what it may seem, it has very little to say about religion, but do, but does go into some cosmological details eventually. Not to mention that it is still currently updating, maintaining a very regular schedule, and he has barely missed an update on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. This is not a webcomic for the faint of heart. I recommend this to those who want to get deep down into the culture behind this webcomic webcomic industry because over the 15 years after the first three years the art has not improved the story only talks about Steve one half of the title of the comic even though he still updates regularly it's it's quite evident that this is just a hobby for him and from other webcomics I've read it's pretty obvious other webcomics that I've read that turned from a hobby into a income started out much like Life and Death. It had pretty bad art, the writing was subpar, and it was started on a free hosting. There are many different reasons that could have up brought Life and Death forward would be Jonathan Oliver could have paid to have his own website, lifeanddeath.com.net, something like that. But instead, he still continues to host it on Drunk Duck and Smack Jeeves, a free web hub. Still, free hosting services. And although the art does slightly improve at the, at the beginning of this archive, it still maintains the same quality. Again, before I researched this, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, until I saw his Deviant Art page. He does have some higher quality art, but his style has still stagnated. Again, it's quite evident that this is just a hobby, only compared to other headlining webcomics, this, whereas they can have hundreds or perhaps thousands of comments on, on pages, he has two, three. In a critical light, it does not stand. Nonetheless, I still love it. Steve initiates a pun war with his co-workers of war, time, life, death, and it's really funny. <laughs> because of the long archive, Jonathan Oliver was able to go over some interesting thoughts in his long archive. And I'm glad I was able to stick through it, and I feel that it's a true webcomic. He does not do it out of profit or for fame. He does it out of love. He, It's evident he likes making webcomics as if he's done it for 15 years and has not expected fame and fortune out of it. 
like I said before, I can compare him to great legends because it's on the same platform. They're equal. Yes, there are some things that differentiate them, but nonetheless, it he's a webcomic artist, just as other artists are out there. And I say it's okay for him to not improve his art or just focus on Steve because it's his webcomic. He gets to say what, he, what goes on it. And he stated before, it's not about the great cosmological war between life and death. It's a comic about two guys having fun when they work. I actually read it on a daily basis. I recommend it if you want to.